Hi, this is me, Debs. A lot of people have been saying they want to put a face to a voice or a face to a name. So here it is. I'm going to look through the bottom of my glasses because as you can see, if I go like that, you can't really see me because you see the reflection of the phone. So this is a, how this all started. Basically, for the past 20 years, me and my housemate have been leaving food out for the foxes because foxes have been roaming the streets here for a long, long, long time. Um, last year, she had an operation on her leg and was unable to walk so I actually took over the feeding of the foxes because she to be fair she used to do it before I did and then this one night Biscuit approached me and I handed her some food on the spoon she took it very very gently um, so the next night when I went out I was ready to see if Biscuit came back again which she did and I took out some fingers of bread and butter handed her a slice well a finger of bread because obviously I was going to watch for my own fingers in case she was going to bite me um, and she didn't she took it so gently but the bread was far too big for her to manage so the next piece I broke it into half again she took it very very gently again it was too big so the third piece I gave her I broke in half yet again hence you now seeing small squares of sandwich on the current videos and what they actually have to eat is they start off with the sandwich which is either jam or lemon curd um, one reason being they absolutely love it and secondly, if they should need any medication, then I can quite easily slip it inside the piece of sandwich and they eat it no problem. So that's why they have the sandwich to start with. Then they'll have some cooked meats, um, sausages, whatever I have at the time. And then they finish off with their raw chicken. And as you've seen, Cookie has taken up to four pieces in one go and it's quite comical the way they do it. Um, <clears throat> so that's the food side of it. I also afterwards is leave out a mixture of dog biscuits and it used to be cat or dog food but it is now minced raw chicken or minced raw lamb i recently the other day bought a load of um, minced tripe with chicken chicken or tripe with lamb um, a whole variety of different foods for them and they seem to be really loving that a lot of people also say about giving them a drink they have got two water bowls out there one is a large blue bowl um, and last night I caught Basil actually drinking from that when I was watching him on the camera quite late in the morning. But I hadn't gone out because the badger was around at the time. Um, so I can confirm that they do drink from it occasionally. But foxes prefer to drink from puddles rather than a bowl. It's like they don't recognise what a bowl is or that it's got water in it. A lot of people also ask if the neighbours um, mind me doing this. No, all the neighbours know. They're all very OK with it. Um, some of them will even say to me, oh, we saw one of the foxes in the garden. They'll send me photos or short videos um, just to, so I can see who it is. It's usually Biscuit, to be fair. So, yeah, neighbours are absolutely fine. A lot of the immediate neighbours have learnt not to come and try and talk to me whilst I'm feeding the foxes because they know that they will run from them, which is a good thing for the foxes. Um, when it comes to vets and getting help, especially with Basil, the way he's been with his leg, I tried everything to get somebody to come out and take him in or capture him so that they could x-ray his leg to see what was going on. The local vets to me do not want to know. Basically, I was told they're wild, just leave them be. We don't intervene with wild animals. I'd spoken to the wildlife people and my local wildlife lady as well. And again, it was he's got three other legs. He's managing on that. OK, unless his leg was literally hanging off or you could visibly see a bone sticking out or anything they wouldn't do anything unless he was suffering it did get to a stage where i think in i think he is suffering because obviously he's got that leg up at all times it starts to get better it gets worse again but he does suffer with arthritis so the leg that particular leg will always be a problem for him and all it takes is a strain or a sprain on top of the arthritis and he will hold it um hold it up Foxes are very, very smart. If they do injure a leg, they will hold it up to rest it. But if they need to use that fourth leg, they will should they need to. But apart from that, they keep it held up so that, <clears throat> excuse me, that it is resting it. Um, so, yeah. And three weeks ago or two weeks ago, <clears throat> I literally, because Basil was still limping and I just was really concerned for him, tried to phone all these places again and was basically told, Again, unless the leg's hanging off or visible injury, bone hanging out, we won't come out and capture him because to capture him would stress him out. They'd rather leave him in his own environment. 
So they say they said to me, carry on doing what you're doing. You're feeding him, which is helping him because he's not having to go and hunt his own food. Um, so that's what I did. And ironically, that same night, Basil appeared and he was weight bearing. And since then, he's been walking on that le leg absolutely fine. But if he starts to limp on it again, it's be possibly because it's a strain or a sprain on top of the arthritis and just carry on to do what I'm doing. When it comes to comments, there's been a lot of comments, obviously, on all the videos that I do um, post. And I appreciate your following. I appreciate the um, support that you're all giving me. And it's lovely to hear that. Um, when it comes to the comments, though, I do struggle to get through them or to reply to them or even just to like them. So please bear with me on that. During the week, I don't get a lot of chance to even look at them, really, to be fair. But on weekends, I do try to catch up when I have a little bit more time. So please don't think I'm ignoring anybody. I'm not. It just purely is a time factor because I do work full time um, as well. But it's nice to hear that a lot of people look forward to seeing the videos as it's helping them when they've had a, a stressful day or they're going through a rough time. So my motto is if I can make one person smile in a day, then that's a job well done on my part. So I think that's about it. Oh, and Bertie the Badger. Bertie the Badger's arrived for three nights in a row now. Now, whether he's been coming any longer than the last three nights i genuinely don't know but i am intending to in the next few weeks get a camera system set up so it is recording 24 7 so i can see then if he does turn up at four or five o'clock in the morning when i'm in bed i've only seen him this last few nights because i have been up that bit later than usual um so whether he has been coming or not prior to what we've seen i don't know i nearly slipped off my desk then never mind um, so yeah, that's basically um, it for now. So there we go. Face to a name, face to a voice. This is me and that's it. So thank you all for following me. Um, it's it's lovely your comments and the, like I say, the support you've all been giving me is absolutely fantastic and I really do appreciate it. So thanks very much and hopefully you'll see me again soon. So bye for now.